Well, hey everyone, welcome back. Um, this is going to be the the holder for for what I use in my camera. Um, I've been mulling over why, how I'm going to basically make the uh, the video because obviously I use this to hold the camera, but obviously I'm not at the moment. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take a photograph of how I'm, I'm holding the camera at the moment. The the idea for this video is, is kind of twofold. Um, first and foremost, the dog chewed this one up, uh, so I need to make a new one and probably a couple of improvements to it as well. The next idea or the next part, the next sort of reason for doing the video in this way is uh, I was watching Steve Ramsey's Mere Minutes and he's saying about encouraging anyone to, to get out there um, and make a video and that's kind of the point of this in a way, that's what I'm trying to achieve. Um, just to show people you don't need anything fancy. I record everything of mine on a, um, a mobile phone and it still comes out at um, 720. And, uh, and that's obviously in HD. Um, so what I'm actually using is a tripod I'd normally use um, and a piece of MDF that I've just gaffer taped to the top of the put, um, tripod and then with an elastic band just holding the phone in. So anyone with a mobile phone that records a video can get out there, record a video. I'm going to try and... I'm not actually going to do any fancy editing with this. Um, I'm going to make it short, sharp, simple to kind of hammer home the you don't need fancy editing software, you don't need to spend ages doing the video, um, you don't even need fancy tools to do the woodworking project. Okay, so on two of these um, bits, of, um, bits of scrap, which just happened to be the slightly oversized for um, the width of the phone. I've, I've drawn round my, I've drawn round my phone, and um, I've marked on here the point where the the mains charge goes in, where the power switch is, and where the the volume switch is, which also does the zoom as well. Um, now, the phone's going to be sandwiched in between those two pieces with just little offcuts of, of this. So um, I'll cut little, little strips off and then sandwich it together and that'll give it a, a bit of height. On the back, originally I, I left this as a flat panel, but I found, particularly in the summer, the phone was getting really warm. So um, that's why I ended up cutting this little bit out. And it actually it works in, the, in, um, in a good way because I could just squeeze these two together and it would hit the power button and turn everything off, which is kind of lazy. Um, I've also got a rubber band on here, which I just hold the phone in because it once it slipped and the phone fell out. So uh, that's, that's that. Um, on the original model, I also, I've got this, um, it's a, I think it's a quarter 20 to quarter 20, just a little riser. So it, it fits in between the camera tripod lug and a, and a digital camera um, and I, I screwed this in because I didn't have any any screw thread on um, in wood basically like you get on the bottom of a proper camera. Um, I screwed it, I just drilled a hole and screwed it straight into the MDF and then used hot melt glue to hold it but after a while that, that came undone. So what I did was I got this piece of, uh, I think this was a piece of sycamore and drilled some holes in it and tapped it and then I can screw this into there and then that fits on the top of a, of a tripod but uh, obviously it works with gaffer tape and a bit of MDF so uh, yeah so that's what we're going to do so I've got a bit of um, oak for that and that's where the, uh, where the tap's going to come in so the next step is to recover this bit and what I want to do is I've made the back bit a little bit longer to take the block, so I'll mark this as the back and I'm going to cut that off kind of there, slightly higher than the phone, but then I'm going to come down inside where the phone's going to be, down and back up, and that's going to be the lens side and L on uh, right lens on there 
and then on the, the top piece what I'm going to do is cut it off a little bit lower uh, I can't remember why I left this hole in here actually I think that was for the home button on the phone but I've never used it so I'll leave that out um, and then I'm going to come in a little bit again just enough so that it holds and then come across there. with the two hand cuts and then the two straight cuts will fit nicely well hopefully nicely either side and sandwich in there Just hold that and then all I've got to do is make a cut in each of those Cut this one in half. I'm going to come just a hair out of the line because I don't want it too tight going into the Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is thread a hole in this piece of oak to take this camera um, thready thing which is basically a female on one side, male on the other um, I've got that quarter to any tap so I'm going to drill a 3 16 hole first. If you haven't worked it out, I've got to drill a smaller hole because the quarter inch is the, the outside of the thread and I've got to cut that so it's not there. Um, and then I'm going to Chuck this I don't like, I have to say, using a tap in a drill bit. Um, lots of people on YouTube I've seen do it with success. Um, I prefer to use a, a hand tap. I was taught to use these in metal, so I've never actually done this with a, with a drill before, so we'll see. Don't forget to back it off. Let's see how well that worked. Yeah. 
It actually worked fine. And that's going to be the screen side, that's going to be the bit of the mounting blocks. That's all I need to do now. Put that. Okay, because I've used MDF, what I'm going to do is I've got some quick drying water based varnish here, and I'm just going to slot that around the edges um, basically to seal the, the, the edges. That's my primary concern. Um, hopefully, give it a little bit of extra life. I'm not worried about it being a super nice finish, I just want to basically seal it up. If you haven't got any, water based varnish then what you can do is just mix up a little bit of PVA wood glue, white wood glue, crafters glue, school glue, whatever you want to call it, um, with a bit of water so it's a similar consistency. Put a couple of coats of that on. Well, there we go, that's the, uh, the mount finished. Um, nice big clear area to use the, the touch screen and obviously the, the area for the lens and as I said at the start I make that a little bit bigger because in the summer when it's really hot in here the foam was getting quite hot last year but that's all done this is basically a, a five minute project it really doesn't take as long as as, as watching this video does um, but as I say I did it kind of to prove a point where you, you don't need anything fancy to, uh, to make a film so I, just like Steve I encourage everyone get out there Turn your, uh, your mobile phones on, record something, and, uh, and let us all share it. Don't worry about standing in front of a camera. There's so many videos out there where people, you, they don't say a word, you don't even see their faces. But just to watch the, uh, the project and, and get ideas from that is still great. And it's all about um, being part of the community, sharing your, um, your own knowledge, sharing your ideas, and in return, getting other people's ideas and other people's skills and, uh, and tips as well. So uh, thanks for watching and um, hopefully it'll encourage some of you to uh, pick up your cameras and, and make your own videos. So until next time, we'll see you soon.